Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name's Karen Stangroom and this is Conquer Crochet. So I thought my first video back after a four month hiatus uh, I would show you a tour of my new studio. Uh, if you've been following me on Instagram and Facebook you'll know that we moved house. We were supposed to move in July. Things didn't go quite to plan. We ended up moving in September so we were a little bit behind schedule. Um, and we've had lots of unpacking to do, so it's been it's been a hot minute since I've done a YouTube video. Um, so I thought I'd start off today by showing you a tour of my new crochet room, crochet studio, crofice, crochet office, crochet cave, crochet attic. I can't quite decide what to call it. How about you let me know in the comments below what you think I should call this room? As I said, we sold our house in April and that's when I started packing up my old craft room. It took a long time to, I was trying to declutter at the same time. But I did come across my very first notebook from when I started crocheting with all my abbreviations and terms and things, which did make me chuckle and you know, I had to write them down to make sure I knew them. And it just goes to show that we all start somewhere. So had to get everything tidied away, packed away into the boxes because the plan was to move in July. So come to September and that's when we actually moved. And this was my studio whilst I was trying to figure out where everything was going to go. Um, it's a bit tricky because you know, it's a uh, sloping ceiling so it was a bit limited, couldn't have my 5x5 five five Calax. So lots of trips to Ikea to buy different Calax units, um, which I could put on their side. And then um, I could have my droner boxes to go in there. So it does feel a little bit like an Ikea studio up here sometimes. Um, because everything is white, I was trying to keep it as light as possible. Um, the room is all completely white, so I thought, well, I'll stick with all the furniture being white. My desk was already white, so it sort of made sense to have it that way. So I spent a long time actually building different bits of furniture. I uh, wanted bits that had drawers. Got my husband involved at one point. Thank you, Adam. And we built a lot. So I think there were three... 2x4 Calyx units, one 2x2 two two, uh, and then we had the Alex drawers uh, with the, the top because I wanted a new recording table and we decided that that would be wood. I did a little poll on Instagram and YouTube. So we are already on the second floor. So we had to go up another couple of flights of stairs. So we've got a let me just shut the door. <laughs> so we've got uh, bookcases that still need unpacking and still some boxes there. We have uh, my crochet books all there so they're all handy. And then we go up the next flight of stairs and we are here. So the first thing we come to is this little cube unit, this is the one, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen I was decorating. So I painted this one white, it was quite a dark brown, and I thought it didn't really work with this area. So a couple of my favourite teddies are there. So I've got some of my spare yarns here, sort of odds and sods sorts of yarns from leftover projects that I haven't quite decided what to do with yet. My handy little table. So this is my secret table where I'm hiding lots of boxes of things underneath. It's in there. And <clears throat> this is where I run. So I have a couple of businesses that I do online, handmade businesses. Uh, one of them is called Frith Friends, which is on Etsy, and I make little toppers. You see those there, little birdie toppers, and various other things to go on notebooks. So in this cupboard here, to be careful with the handle. There we go. So. I've got my notebooks, my little crochet toppers on them. And we do those in a couple of different sizes. 
Um, here then I've got all my sort of pre-made um, toppers so that I don't have to sort of panic every time an order comes in, they're already there. And I've got things like my cello bags, um, I used to make cards so there's cards there as well and postage stickers and all that sort of gubbin. So everything for that business is all in this area here. And moving round, now I should warn you there are a lot of Calaxes up here, there's a lot of Ikea up here. Um, oh by the way the filing cabinets here are um, Beasley filing cabinets or Bisley filing cabinets that I got various places, some were given away, some were um, quite cheap on free cycle and I sprayed them with the plastic coat rose gold but actually it's more of a, a lilac than a rose gold, it's not your screen. Um, so we've got Calax units, so in here various things for display, so at the moment I have my autumn display going um, then I have uh, stuff for summer in this one and spring, autumn and a very chocker Christmas box which um, yeah, need to sort through that one so lots of these boxes still need sorting through here's my whip corner um, again lots of that needs sorting through just lots and lots of storage there's another 2x4 Calax unit there Lovely window, look out over the neighbours, there's a little pathway there so I can see people coming up the road. I'll just move back a bit so you can see. Uh, so then I have my desk with my rainbow wall hanging, so that's there. And I specifically wanted this set up here, so this is a 2x4, sorry 2x2 two two Calax. Um, but I didn't put the extra shelf in down the middle so I could fit my printer and my computer on the same shelf because I don't really like the printer being on the top just because it annoys me so I'd rather have prettier things on the top than a black printer. Um, magazine racks are also from Ikea although I got one from a free cycle group and I think I bought one on eBay because I couldn't get them during the lockdown um, and I really wanted them. So I thought well, I'll look for other sources and there's my crocheted wreath and my little lady who's now been fixed going around all the different craft fairs her legs kept falling off and yeah, she was in a right state when we moved here but my lovely husband has sorted out her legs and put the new winglet on the bottom so it doesn't fall off. So this is my recording table so if you watch my tutorials now you will have by popular vote a wooden top and um, quite a few people said that they didn't like the white glare um, from uh, a white background so I thought right well I'll go with the wooden one then and you can always brighten it or lower it if you don't like the brightness so then so this is a two meter long table I used to have a one meter long table and I was always having it's fallen off the side and by the time you've got the lights on and the stand and things it, it just felt like I needed more space and this was a perfect space. Love the cable management down here that needs sorting out soon and I have my gimbal there as well because I need to often sort my back out and sometimes I don't want to sit on a normal chair. So then in the drawers here these are Alex drawers so I got these lovely uh, uh, acrylic things to go in the drawers, uh, organisers, all my stuff was just going everywhere. They still need some organising. Um, I think you get three of the big ones and three of, sort of this size. If you go to the next drawer down, there are some smaller ones as well. So they're handy just to keep in a little bit. So I've got one there that's just got needles in one for my um, yarn keepers, there's a few of the stitch markers, I think they're my Christmas stitch markers which I'll be switching out soon and then lots of crochet hooks and tape measures and pin badges and all sorts of things. I mean when you get lots of things from magazines you don't quite know what to do with them. Well, you know, I, I like them but I don't necessarily want to use them straight away and I always lose them when I do want to use them. So they're in these drawers here, 
So lots of lots of nice crochet loveliness. I'm not quite sure what to do. These are samples of um, from tutorials, and I just can't quite decide what to do with them. They're too nice to throw away. They're a little bit too big, some of them, for coasters. So I think I might just have to join them up and uh, make a nice little blanket out of those. Uh, the bottom drawer here, so I'm using a tripod to try and keep it steady and uh, I've got legs in the way. The bottom drawer is full of tote bags ready for my lovely projects. Uh, on the other side, sorry for that wobble, uh, on the other side is all, um, there's my Conquer Crochet project journal and my pattern writing books are in there. And this one's a project that I want to make, which I'll be talking about in other videos. And then sort of techie type stuff and things in all the other drawers just so they're easily accessible when I'm recording. I don't have to keep getting up and down. So one of the downsides of this space is this beam here. And I seem to be permanently walking around with a stoop. <laughs> okay, so moving around then, we have, uh, I've got a stack of crochet, I think they're Crochet Society uh, boxes and Harry Potter crochet and all those sort of kits that you get. Uh, two surprise bags here, which I'm going to talk about in future videos. I don't want to go into those yet. And then this is my working yarn stash. So this is the pretty side of it, the, um, the ones I showed you at the beginning. The not so pretty side, but these certainly give me inspiration for things I want to make and colour matches and colour groupings that I want to have. So I've got all my uh, acrylics. Um, in, in sort of one place. I've got chunkier yarns down the bottom here and some of the cakes. And on the top, these are all different types of cotton. So there's um, uh, patterns cotton in the middle and I think it's Rico cotton. And these ones here are actually from b and um, Don't know if you can see, see those there. They're actually, they're quite sparkly. So they're great for Christmas makes. So that's all my sparkly yarn. Um, and I also have down here um, an air purifier. I'm quite a bad, a badly suffer with asthma. Um, and sometimes I find there's lots of fibers around. And also you notice I sometimes get out of breath or I maybe heavy breathe during a video. Um, that's just because I, my chest is feeling tight and I'm struggling. <laughs> but well, she'll, Keep going. Uh, also down the side there I've got my blocking uh, mats and these are also IKEA um, sort of storage things, they're collapsibles. And they've got little um, bits of wood inside that you use as posts. There we are. Oops. So that's what they look like. They do them in various sizes, but what I found, I've got two of them, and when they're actually set up properly, they um, make quite a nice height for a little coffee table. So you can keep your your crochet whips in there whilst you're working, and then you've got somewhere to put your tea as well, and a few biscuits. Uh, magazine rack, I had to have one of those. I have so many crochet magazines, even though I said I was going to stop buying them. Um, yeah, I keep being given subscriptions as gifts and things, so I will stop buying them soon um, just because I don't have enough time to read them all and they've started repeating all the free gifts so it doesn't really, not benefiting from that either. So this is the sofa bed. So I needed somewhere for when my niece comes to stay so she'll have a nice room that's got all the pretty fairy lights and I've also got blackout curtains to go up on the Velux windows um, but also I needed somewhere that I could sit on this lovely sofa, crochet and watch Netflix. Yay! So this is my crochet room so far. Um, nice rug on the floor. I do want to 
um, get a coffee table or some sort of footstool to go around here. Just somewhere to sort of place my crochet or you know, put my patterns when I'm working and things. Now the beam in the middle there is quite low. Oh, I didn't show you that. So the beam is quite low. I have to duck. But on there, I decided it was such a waste of space not to use it. So I've got my glass jars up there with ribbons and various other bits and bobs. And a couple of little money boxes. There's always a fox theme wherever I am. Foxes and flamingos in my world, depending on the time of year. And there's a doorway there which goes through to uh, an ensuite, but it's a huge ensuite. It's a little bit smaller than this room, um, but not much. So we actually, I won't show you in there today, um, but I do have my running machine and things in there as well. So we don't really use it as a bathroom. So I do have another question for you as well as what am I going to call this space? What am I going to do with this space here? So coming up the stairs, I've got this massive white wall. It needs something on it. What would you put on there? I've already got my rainbow wall hanging over here and I've got my crocheted wreath. I could do more wreaths, I could do more wall hangings, but what sort of wall hangings? And actually, if you've got any patterns that you can recommend, you could drop a link down below and then everyone in the community would be able to have a look and see if there's something there that they would like to make too. So this is where I am, so you can now picture me. And you see my Instagram posts, at Conquer Crochet. There you go, oh, that's where Karen is. So welcome to my world. So we moved in in September and the house is sort of in two parts. So we have an older part, which is Tudor, and then the new part, which is Georgian, so around 1800s. So this attic space is the upstairs servants' quarters. Um, and I don't know yet what it's going to be like trying to record if it's raining. I'm in Wales, it's going to rain a lot. Um, so I don't know what the sound quality is going to be like. So hopefully things won't be too bad. Um, I also have a church that I can see just out through the Velux window here and that chimes on the hour for the number of hours it is so I need to make sure that I'm not recording during those times but you might actually hear some background noise sometimes because I'm bound to forget at some point. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and having a quick look around my craft space. Uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you think I should call this space and also what I should be doing on the wall going up the stairs. So I'll pop two videos up on the screen to help you on your crochet journey and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy hooking!